Hey guys, welcome to my video channel. I'm Gray Chow. Today on this video, I'm going to share with you how to create a unique and interesting photo using digital blending. Digital blending is a technique that you blend multiple photos into a single photo. With a little bit of creativeness, you can do something like combining light trails or adding multiple fireworks into a single photo. But today, instead of fireworks, I'm going to add pigeons. Now, on my Photoshop here, I already have a few photos imported as layers. Let's go through them one by one, and also I want to explain a little bit on the camera setting that I used to take the photos. Each of these photos here contain pigeons. On this photo here, there are two pigeons, and this one here, another two here, and this one, there's one here. To capture all these flying pigeons, it was a bit tricky because pigeons fly fast. To freeze their movement, I need to use a faster shutter speed at 1 over 640 seconds. However, I was shooting in a cave, which the lighting there was rather dim. Using 1 over 640 seconds shutter speed would give me an underexposed shot. To resolve that, I had to adjust both the aperture and ISO. I was using ISO 800, which is pretty high, f 5.0 aperture, and also 1 over 640 seconds shutter speed. Not the usual camera settings I would use for landscape photography. Also, notice that even all these photos were using the same camera setting, this photo appeared to be darker than the rest. This due to the lighting condition changed during the shooting, and also because the sun was blocked by the clouds at that time. Another thing is that there are some overexposed area on here and also on the roof of the shrine. That's why I took another underexposed photo to do the exposure recovery for those overexposed areas. So without wasting any more time, let's start with the exposure recovery first. To recover the exposure, I'm going to use a technique called luminosity masking and also using my Grey Chow Action Pack to create the luminosity mask. You can find out more information about the luminosity masking from my previous video and also get the action pack from there. If you prefer to create the luminosity mask manually, you can check out this video on how to create the luminosity masking manually. All the links of the videos are included in the below description. So back on the exposure recovery, I'm going to use this bottom layer as the base layer. So I'm going to move this underexposed layer to the top of it. So let's temporarily hide both of these layers first. And also same goes for this underexposed layer. Now, I want to run my Grey Chow Action Pack. To do so, I need to open up the Action window and go to Grey Chow LM Action Pack and choose LM Likes All and Play. This will create all the luminosity masks on the channel window here. So let's go through them one by one. So just temporarily hide this. Like one, like two, three, four, five. It seems like the light tree would be the suitable mask to do the exposure recovery. So I'm going to use the light tree channel to create a selection. To create a selection, by holding down Control or Command button and click on light tree. Now the marching end appear on the screen here. So next, I'm going to apply the selection to the layer mask on this layer here. So I'm going to unhide this layer, select it, and then click on Add Layer Mask icon to add a layer mask. This will automatically apply the selection to this layer mask here. By applying selection to the layer mask on this layer, I'm able to recover the overexposed areas. But this also apply the adjustment on the highlight areas here and making it losing contrast, which I don't want that. So I'm going to restrict the exposure recovery only on the roof here and also on the leaves here. To do that, instead of making changes to the layer mask here, I'm going to put this under a group. So Ctrl G or Command G. After create a group, I'm going to add the layer mask to this group folder. Now I'm going to add a black layer mask to this group folder. To do that, just holding down alternate or auction button and click on add layer mask icon here to create and invert the layer mask. 
Now, make sure you choose the brush tool and the foreground color is white and the opacity is changed to 100%. And then brush on the overexposed area to recover the highlight. Here. Now change the opacity to 50% and I'm going to slightly recover the highlight here and also here. So now we have recovered the overexposed highlights before, after. Next things I want to do is to blend in the pigeons. Before that, I'm going to remove all these channels from the channel window first. Just go to Grey Child LM Action Pack again and choose LM Likes Delete All and Play to delete all of them. Now close this action window and choose the Pigeons 2 photo, unhide it, and I'm going to add a black layer mask to this layer. So to do that, just holding down alternate or auction button and click on add layer mask icon here. Now this temporarily hide the layer, so we are going to use a white brush to brush on those areas we want it to show on the screen. So again, brush to white color and opacity to 100% and just paint on the area that I want it to show. It should be here. And there's another pigeon here. Yep. So this is how you blend in pigeons into one single photo. Now repeat the same steps to the rest. Add layer mask here and another one should be here. The last one here. So add layer mask again by holding down alternate or auction button and just should be here. Let's undo it here. Okay, because the exposure of this layer is slightly darker than the rest, so it doesn't blend in seamlessly. To resolve that, we just have to add another curve adjustment layer and adjust the exposure. Just go to add adjustment layers and choose curves. Now, Instead of making adjustment directly on this curve adjustment layer, which is going to apply to the whole image here, I'm going to restrict the adjustment only to this layer here. To do that, just right click on the curve adjustment layer and choose create clipping mask. Now, whatever changes I make to this adjustment layer here will only apply to this pigeon 4 layer. So just slightly brighten the shadow area Now the pigeon is able to blend in perfectly. Let's group all these pigeons layers and name them as pigeons. So to group them, just press on Ctrl G or Command G. Pigeons. I can also make good use of the clipping mask function by adding another curve adjustment layer here. Right click, clipping mask and to further brighten the pigeons. It's too much. This will help to make the pigeons stand out from the frame. So that's how you create a unique composition using digital blending technique. After that, you can apply any adjustment to this photo like adding vignette or adding contrast and also correcting the white balance. Let's start by adding a little bit of contrast to the photo. Just create a curve adjustment layer again. And I'm going to add a little bit of contrast here. Also the highlight here. Other than adding the contrast, I also want to add a little bit of blue tone to the highlight area here to create a color separation between a blue color highlight and a warm color shadow. So to do that, I'm going to change the channel to blue channel and slightly pull out the highlight area here. And because I only want to add the blue tone to the highlight, so I'm going to add another control point here to restrict it to only the highlight area. 
I also think that the photo a little bit too green is so I'm going to reduce some green in the shadow area here too much yeah something like this so before after next thing I want to do is to emphasize the likes here and also the shrine and also the pigeons I will use a technique called dodge and burn so I'm going to create an empty layer rename it as dodge and burn now go to edit fill and make sure the content is 50% gray everything leave it as default and click on OK to fill it with gray color now change the blend mode to soft light under this soft light blend mode whatever is darker than the gray color will darken the photo whatever is brighter than the gray color will brighten the photo so basically it means that if I want to brighten certain area I just need to choose the brush tool and make sure the color is white color and the opacity I'm going to use 3% adjust the brush size and just brush on the area that I want to brighten it to darken a certain area what I need to do is to change the foreground color to black color and just brighten this area here 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 now let's see the before and after before after as you can see I've changed the lighting of this photo and making people to more focus on the center of the frame I'm going to add one more adjustment to the photo here so which I'm going to add Renek to the photo and to do that I just need to use a selection tool draw a circle around the edge here and then pressing Control shift i or command shift i to invert the selection with the selection on the screen now I go to Add adjustment layer and click on curves this will apply the selection directly to the layer mask on the curve adjustment here so I'm going to darken the edges and then click on the layer mask here and change the feather to around 200 something this will create a smooth transition between 0% effect to 100% effect here so that's all the adjustments for this photo let's see the before and after before after so that's all for this video I hope you enjoyed it if you think it is useful feel free to share it out with your friends and also don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my video channel so see you next time